Okay, I have been spending a lot of time working on this thing. New roof springs and new skylight. I can just uh, take a minute here, kick back, and relax. That's a pretty comfortable bed. And, oh, excuse me. Let me get this for a second. Hello, dear. Uh, hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's it. Oh, yeah. A TV. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, you're right. We, we need a TV in here. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll get to work on it right away. All right. Love you. Bye. Well, looks like I'm going to be installing a TV. Well, in all fairness, my wife is right. We do need a TV. And that's because we're not the boondocker kind of people. This uh, A-frame is not going to see any off-roads. And we're not going to be looking at beautiful scenic lakes and beautiful waterfalls unless uh, we happen to hike there. This is going to be more like a KOA Good Sam's uh, where there's a swimming pool and restaurants nearby. And it's, that's the type of camping we like to do. Glamping, okay, we're good. So I guess the first thing we had to do, of course, was buy a TV. Found this one, 24 inch. Uh, it's a nice, smart TV. It was a good price. Now, this is what a lot of people do is they just set it on this counter right here and you can look at it and, and you can see it from the bed. And if you notice, we, we like to sleep with our head on this side. I know a lot of people like to sleep with their heads on this side. It's just not what we do. We do it the other way. But the problem is they use up a lot of counter space. And believe it or not, we have a couple of pets to bring with us. And one of them is a parrot and her cage fits right here. And she likes to go traveling and camping with us. So I'm thinking more like something we need to hang on the wall. But these walls, well, they're not really designed for uh, holding anything. I mean, the TV's light. That's not the issue. It's just that they're structurally not really made to do that. So without reinforcing them, it's not a great idea. So naturally, the first thing I look up and I see is that we've got the top of the wall here. It's got a nice flat place up here where I can make a mount that would, that would fit right in here. And this right here where the lock goes in is a nice spot where I can actually take and make something to slide behind this. I don't want to screw anything into the, uh, the side walls at all. I want this to be easy to remove. We can pop it up and we can take it down. So luckily I've got a lot of scrap aluminum bar and stuff I've collected over the years. I think I'll uh, be able to utilize some of that, fabricate something that we can use to hang this up. Oh, I also want to be able to see it from over at the, uh, the dinette area over here. So I can sit down over here. And so something that'll have to swing out on a swing mount. So I know what I need to build. Well, let's go ahead and hop to it. Here's some aluminum that I've got laying around. I've got some channel like this and I got a piece of uh, angle material and some flat pieces so I figure I can use this to fabricate something up uh, if you don't have aluminum you could probably make it out of something else I'm just going to show you how I made it you could probably actually make it out of wood or something so one, the one thing I did uh, go out and buy uh, was an articulated mount for the TV I went to Amazon and bought the cheapest one I could find it was not very expensive I think uh, 10 15 dollars or something and I'll mount this at the bottom of the C channel and uh, that way I can see the TV in bed or move it out and fold it flat when we're not watching it. So I'll go out there and start figuring out my angles. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. This obviously makes a good lock position as I told you. I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of this angle, put it back here so that it will slide down in here, drill a couple of holes. Um, and then I'll put the piece of uh, channel I have to run down the wall here and I come out the TV that way. So I'll come out here, measure the angle that I need here, and I'll uh, cut and drill the parts and get it bolted together. 
I figured I'd trim the top of the bar off a little bit to follow the angle of the roof so it'll fit a little cleaner. I'm going to go and hacksaw that piece off right there. I'm going to also mount a little cross member, cross bar across the bottom here where it's going to actually rest up against the window. If this was a longer piece I could actually make it go past the window but um, it'll rest right on the metal uh, frame on, on the uh, aluminum frame on the window. So I'll put a little bar here to kind of give it an area that I can pad. I've got all my holes drilled. Now I gotta just bolt the rest of this together. I've already got the top screwed on and you notice I put a piece of uh, foam tape on here to help it grip when it's up in on top of the wall plus it won't scratch anything. So let's go ahead and take a couple of these screws or uh, bolts rather, put them in here. Here's the bar I've made for on the bottom of this. Just put this in place. And I'll tighten these all up and I'll put a piece of foam tape underneath this too. Keep it from uh, scratching the window frame where it's sitting on the aluminum. So let me tighten these all up and we'll take it out to the camper and see how it works. Okay, we're back out into the A-frame. I've got my contraption here. I mount and it slides right back in here. You can see this is resting right here on the wall. And this bracket here, the handle is keeping it from swinging in and out. And down here, this is resting right against the aluminum frame of the window so that it's not going to go anywhere. I've got the articulated mount. I'll be able to put this wherever I want to do a little adjusting here and get a little bit more vertical. It'll be should be ready to go. And there we go. I can uh, watch it over here. I can push it flat. 
watch it from the bed, bring it up against the wall, put it in storage, all nice and secure. So accomplished what I wanted to do. I didn't have to drill anything. Uh, when I go to travel, all I got to do is take off the TV, pull the mount out and drop it all down on the bed. And I'm ready to go for the next, uh, next camping location. So I hope this helped you out. Hope maybe gave you some ideas. Um, as always, if you have any questions or any comments, please let me know. Thanks.